Yeah. Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Tasha. And we're the Candy Coated Killers. And you're watching Amped Up TV. I'm Elise with Amped Up TV, and we're in Toronto at the North by Northeast Festival with Candy Coated Killas. How's it going, guys? It's going awesome. good. Yeah, we just got off stage, so feeling good. <laughs> Do you guys want to go through your names and what you play? Yeah, uh, my name is Michael, aka Icon, the Anomaly. And I'm Tasha Dash. Um, both of us are vocalists, and I do the production. I'm the, the lady behind the sounds. So describe your music style. Um, urban electro pop is what we're going by right now. It changes every time we meet different people and as we write more songs yeah. and evolve this new thing we're trying to do. But urban electro pop, what would you say? Yes, um, between us, we usually call it ghettotronic. Yeah, it's a little, exactly. It's, yeah. A little, it's a little more accurate, you know. It's like um, electronic background, but we love hip-hop, old-school hip-hop, so we like to fuse the two. It's dirty, dirty electronic music. <laughs> 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 How long have you guys been together and how did you meet? Uh, we met at a restaurant, Milestones, you might have heard of it. Are we allowed to say that? Milestones, big yeah. up, no. But uh, yeah, we met there and uh, she was doing her own production work and I was working alone as well. Uh, and I heard her stuff and I put away my production shops forever. So she does all the production now. So that's how we initially yeah, and met. And that was about, that was probably about two and a half years ago or something yeah, like that, yeah, yeah I think. Exactly. How do you feel you've grown since then? Oh, a lot, a lot, and, and fast, which is a great thing yeah. to be working with somebody where you're always bouncing stuff off of each other, and, and but you're always moving forward, yeah. no matter how experimental you get. So yeah, we're um, yeah. I mean, when we first started out, and we were just like experimenting with stuff that we both liked, we were a lot more hip hop, and then um, as like production-wise, I wanted to do some more experimentation with other stuff that I liked. You know, and I would play him stuff that would be way more electronic -y or a little bit more underground, and, you know, he ate it all up. So just kind of, our sound kind of grew out of more of like a, like a general kind of hip-hop sound, but yeah. it is what it is now. Why don't you talk about some of your influences? Oh, <clears throat> um, I think we both have this in common. We love... Uh, Everybody would say it's good music, but we love hip hop in general. We also listen to alternative stuff. Um, to mention a few people, I love everybody from Method Man to Michael Jackson. So put me anywhere in between that. Um, my biggest influences are pretty distinct. Um, Lisa Left Eye Lopez, like, was like my idol when I was a kid. So I always tell everyone she taught me how to rap. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just and growing up, I also really liked uh, No Doubt and kind of like the. I'm always I've always kind of been like a tomboy, so any kind of strong female kind of um, performer. Always kind of been past tense. You still no. yeah, yeah, I still am. I still am a tomboy. But musically, um, right now I'm like super, super. Well, I have been super, super into like Gnarl Sparkly and just kind of like weird things that are happening on the fringes and trying to figure out a way to make that really like pop and electro and urban. Cool. Um, so you guys played one show just momentarily ago. Uh, did you guys have any other shows, or do you have any upcoming ones at, at the festival, or the festival, is it party time now? At uh, the festival, yeah, we're done for the festival. It's just like, uh, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's just party time right now. Um, we're gonna be heading over to the MMVA, so check that out and do a couple like after parties. But performance-wise, we're good till next week. We're gonna travel out of town and do a couple performances, and then we'll be back for Pride. We're gonna do a Pride show as well. Toronto's a very exciting place to be in right now. So much going on. Yes. Yeah, how do you guys feel, like, just coming off of your last show, and how, how do you feel your response was from your fans? Oh, my God. This is, I would say, our biggest crowd yet. Probably this the most diverse crowd, most too. Diverse, I mean, like, yeah. usually we'll play inside somewhere, you know, like, we'll play at a club or a, a big venue, and people have to pay for tickets, and so it's, it's like your fans, people that know you. Yeah. But the thing, cool thing about playing an outdoor free show is, like, you get a lot of people who are here to see other bands or just passing by, and the response was awesome. Like, you know? Unbelievable. Yeah. Like, it's better than the response we get from her cat. When we were nobodies, we used to perform in her room, just yes. me and her, and the only audience we had was her cat. And she wasn't that. And she wasn't into know, it. She no. doesn't like the hip hop. No. She's an, you have an alternative cat. Yeah. She's an emo cat. <laughs> so, do you guys have any recordings out? Yeah, we have a uh, Playboy. Uh, it's on the radio right now. We're getting quite a bit of airplay. Thanks, Virgin, and everybody else yeah. is really spinning our stuff. We have a video for that as well. Yeah. Um, so that's our first single. But we did um, we did an album independently last year. It's called It Factor, which is where Playboy is originally off of. Um, so if you want to get that, you can get it on MapleMusic.com. It may or may not be on the video. 
Uh, the video is like on oh, YouTube, YouTube and at MuchMusic.com and all the places where you see the music videos. So, yeah. Cool. Do you have any future plans for more recordings? Uh, we're we're writing right now. We're actually, we're looking towards a, like an end of summer finish for our album and then maybe like an early fall release. So and doing another single again. So. So writing yeah. lots, writing a lot. Writing and writing yeah. and writing. Yeah. Any other future plans? Um, we both like uh, Tasha is a bit of an actor, and uh, I'm in school for video game design. So we're hoping to, you know, kind of integrate that into what we're working on. We're making a Candy Coat to Kill this video game. Yeah, something. Yes. Integrated media. <laughs> and you said you're an actor? Yeah, I do. I do acting. So why don't you talk about that a little bit? Um, it's mo I mostly do like crazy stuff and like cameos and commercials and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you don't want to comment anymore? No. <laughs> it's like my I, I have like several secret lives. Yeah. <laughs> so, you don't but, want um, can of worms you don't want to open. Uh huh. No, no I'm just kidding. Um, but we're also looking to go on tour as soon as the album's released. So, a bunch of things like for later this year and early next year. We're really excited. Where would you like to go on tour? Oh man, I want to go. I want like cities. I'd love to do New York. I mean, we go to New York all the time to party and stuff. Munich and somewhere, yeah. Yes, Germany, and Berlin. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Berlin. Like yeah. I've stayed there a bunch of times, and my family's yeah, from Germany as well. Like but there. Yeah, there was a really good response on the internet from places like that, so yeah. we'd love to go there. France, France, uh, France, France. That's French for France. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Paris. Yeah. Where can we find you? On the internet. <laughs> Where on the internet? Um, <laughs> our website is candycodedkillas.com, and that's killas with a K I L L A H Z dot com. Uh, we're on MySpace. You can find us on Facebook, all kinds of stuff. YouTube, all those places. Thank you so much for the interview, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'm Elise with Amped Up TV, and uh, you can find us at ampedup.tv, and you can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Good night. Thanks, guys. <laughs>